Yes, peace, peace. How you doing? Just want to let it be noted. You see this right here? This is Egypt. Right? But check it how all black people in the world didn't come from there. So that's something that needed to be noted and understood. Now this is like part two of the bullshit that we've been fed as a people from the so-called committed conscious community. Now, this here is due to some of the conversations that I've had. First off, when you ask them what is their land, language, and culture, they'll tell you they don't know. In many instances. Then ask you, who say that you are a brother or sister of the nation of Israel, can you prove that you're an Israelite? Let's first understand something. If you are able to say that you don't know who you are, then by default, I don't need to sit there and take the time to tell you how I can prove who I am. Because at that point, the conversation is no longer balanced. See, if I tell you and prove to you who I am and what I say about myself, that's one thing. But if you cannot sit there and come in the same conversation as I speak, you speak, and it has to be equal, parallel conversation. Otherwise, it's unbalanced. So if you cannot explain to me who you are, your history, your land, language, and your culture, there's a problem. Now, there's only two types of people, correct me if I'm wrong, who come with that bullshit about who you are while at the same token not able to explain who he or she is. That is the feds, and that is ignorant niggas. Those are the only two people who stay incognito of who they are while trying to gain every kind of information they can from you. So we got to ask ourselves, who in the world are some of these people that just keep, seem to pop up out of nowhere and just say, hey, you're an Israelite. Can you prove you're an Israelite? Dude, who are you? You got an alias. Okay, we all pick a spiritual name for ourselves. That's that's cool. You understand? But um, at the same token, when you're not able to sit there and respectfully tell me who you are, then I need not whatsoever explain to you who I am. That's just none of your damn business at that point. Now, if you take the time and care to um, explain to me who you are, that's on you. That's your thing. Um, People want to sit there, and I don't mean to be redundant in, in doing these kind of presentations. Uh, somebody was saying, well, you know, I could sit there and break down, you know, everything from menace to the Ptolemies, man. Yeah. But what your dumb behind did not realize, what your bullshit, is that the Ptolemies were not even black. The only reason why the Ptolemies got any power in Egypt is because Alexander had power in Egypt, where he is praised as a pharaoh by the Egyptians. So we got to ask, what kind of black pride and black culture did ancient Egypt have to even sit there and kowtow to a white man such as Alexander, the son of Philip of Macedon, the faggot? You have to sit back and wonder what kind of mindset did those people have to even sit there and give that man as much respect as they did. Now, in another case, I presented this picture to somebody right here, as we see. Now, the person is going to sit there and tell me. Now, Israelites already offhand know what this picture is, right? The dude is going to sit there and tell me in a conversation that that is a picture from the ancient Sumerians. Nigga, no, it is not, dude. It is a picture from the wall of Sennacherib, the Assyrian ruler who ruled in Assyria in the 8th century BCE. He made a wall in images of people that he took from the land of Lachish, which was in the land of Judah, over into the land of Assyria in what you call in today's timeline, they say is 701, 700 BCE. So that's not a picture from the ancient Sumerians. But in the culture of hating the Hebrews and the Israelites, people are going to say things that they can't even prove. They probably never seen that picture before, but be ready to jump on and say, no, it's not the Israelites. One person, I made a presentation that is entitled Hebrew and Kemet Debate, and debate is in quote, part two. Once again, it's online, it's on YouTube. It is called Hebrew and Kemet Debate, part two, under my YouTube channel. One person told me before he or she listened to it, I'm, I'm going to leave the agenda out there in the open, but um, I was told from a person, in quote, 
I'm going to listen to this and refute it. Now, common sense is going to tell me that you're dealing with some bullshit. Because how are you going to say you're going to refute something after you heard it if you have not heard it then? If you have not heard something, how can you be confident enough to say that you're going to refute it? You don't know if I can be having a title there but supporting what you're saying and just put a different title for whatever reason. But before you're able to listen to it and get back to me about your take upon it, you're going to say that you're going to refute it. Nigga, that is a spirit of hate right there. These are the same kind of brothers and sisters who will sit there and say that Samson was not a good person because he went and he went against people in war. But if you don't understand, when you read Judges, the 14th chapter, what happened was he had a wife that was a Philistine woman. He gave the people a riddle. The people who he gave the riddle to got to his wife. His wife counseled or enticed him or and got the answers from him. And then they told him what the riddle was. So then he went from there to the land of Ashkelon to repay the debt back in reference with the, the riddle that was done. And the people's argument with their punk mentality, no offense intended to any man or woman, because a woman can be a punk, yes, is that, well, the people in Ashkelon didn't um, bother Samson. Nigga, that's like saying that a man is wrong if a cop is beating a brother's ass and that brother goes to help his brother. These are the same punk ass niggas that are sitting up there in the so-called conscious community trying to sit there and indulge us with Kemet this and Kemet that. If you know the history, what happened, Samson was a Danite. The people he went to go and help and assistance was with the tribe of Judah. The wife that he had that was a Philistine wife was the people that was of the Philistine people but lived in one of the cities of Judah called Timnah. So if you understand the history and the purpose of Samson's being, you will know and understand, brothers and sisters, that he was sent to whoop the ass. But we're not into doing that. We're into having lines of black men in front of the police so the quote-unquote rioting people will not attack the police while niggas got their hands in their pocket standing in front of the police line in Baltimore. This is what we're into seeing. We're into seeing a black woman holding down the Ku Klux Klan member so the black people won't stop his ass out. This is what we have been induced to. But yet, people are wrong or being presented as wrong for defending their own people. These niggas are the types who don't take care of their kids, man. These niggas is the type that'll sit there and tell you that a man standing in a public arena talking about he's going to finger fuck his wife is okay. There's a problem with that picture. But the black woman's supposed to be the queen and the this and the that. But you're up there talking about how you're going to put your fingers in her vagina. We're going to keep it clean to a certain extent. Pardon if my language has turned anybody off so far. You understand? You don't respect her as no queen. Because I got a lady. And any man who respects his lady is not going to talk about that kind of stuff in front of everybody else. That's nobody's business. Some people lack understanding. Some people lack nationalism and understanding of culture. See, when a person cannot tell you what is his or her land, language, and culture, he or she is not able to tell you his or her own nationality. So trying to talk nationalism to an ignorant jackass and a bullshitter who doesn't understand what his or her nation is, nationalism to that person will never make any kind of sense. Because you don't know what nation to belong to to have a nationalism spirit. You understand. Samson was a nationalist. But because the people know who in the world the two house of Israel is, they're going to try to present an understanding that's something that's bad. Oh, he dealt with women. Well, he's a man. Men deal with women, you faggot. What are you into? That's what they try to say about Marcus Garvey. A great black leader. Oh, he was having women on the side. That's between him and his wife and those women. That's not my business. You understand? That's what they try to sit there and have quote unquote proof about Martin Luther King. But meanwhile, their delegates go all the way over to California where they give AIDS to each other because they are faggots giving each other head. 
every July in Bohemian Grove. But they tell us in the quote unquote debating with the comedic people, oh, Simpson was wrong because he had women on the side. Or he had, you know, he dealt with other types of women. Brothers and sisters, that is ridiculous. But these are the same people who to ask you who you are, while at the same token, not able to explain to you or care to explain to you who they are. Because, no offense intended, they don't know who they are. So, in a, you got to kind of, in a way, feel sorry for some brothers and sisters because they're like trying to find identity, but they're struggling within themselves. Because, see, here's the thing. When you're saying that you're from the house of Israel, the children of Israel, you're saying that you have a responsibility, you have lower statutes of commandments, you got set aside times, you have a God you have to acquiesce to, you have a family to be responsible to, you have a people that you got to sit there and love with all your strength because it says you should love thy neighbor as thyself, so it's already implied that you love yourself. So that means you got to know yourself because you can't love something that you don't know. So you got to go sometimes within your spirit and gain and find out what your character is and work on any impurities within it. But if you can sit there and just look at this and say, wow, this is what we built. You ain't got to sit there and look within your own self because you said Kemet and whatever they did was done already. So you don't think you got to do anything for the freaking future. That's a problem. See, this is this type of bullshit that we have been fed as a people, man. And I state again that people will sit there and have a problem with a man going with a jawbone of an ass and slaying the enemies of his people because these niggas don't know who their people are. That's why they don't know who in the world to fight for because they don't know what people in the world they belong to. So that's a problem. So you hold that. Peace.